Hello everyone, and welcome to the first episode of our Nomads Let's Play for Star Sector with the x Raylan mod. As you can see here by my fleet screen, I have already spent some time in this game trying to build up some money and a decent sized fleet so that we can immediately go to uh, war, which actually we are currently at war with um, at least one faction because they're invading our sector. But first, before we get to that, I want to show off some of the cool things about the Nomads. So I started off with this ship here and its main weapon is this entire thing right here which is the ultralight electron maser it is a energy weapon and actually you know what let's just uh, show this off here let's go to refit and run a simulation Ooh, actually I this is a new ship my original ship was destroyed <laughs> I forgot that just happened um, I was ambushed by some rebels hold on let me so every single neutron ship needs this um, uh, mod right here, which is unique to the the nomads an ancient Narian technology that provides all nomad ships with a way to dissipate flux Internally by converting it into multi-spectrum EM radiation Required for basic functioning of nomad weapon systems and not compatible with modern ships or technology So meaning you can't slap this onto another faction ship. So when I take that off look at the flux capacity That's right so for 20 points, you're getting that much flux capacity on this ship, and it's even crazier on this one. So, <laughs> like, let me take it off here and look at the flux capacity. Yeah. Which is part of... Well, we get to that. So anyway, I'll show you this uh, fighter first. I will increase our flux dissipation. There's also... The original came stocked with a couple of other... Wow, that's weird. I'm actually seeing other factions mods that's odd anyway um i don't think i have anything that it came with originally so let's just um go with flux capacitors oh god i guess we need something blast doors i guess okay so let's run a quick little simulation here um let's go up against a sure a hagaran descended frigate so I just want to... Look at that. Look at that. That's so cool. Plus it has high energy focus. So the Nomads, I think, are going to be pretty powerful. But not just because of this ship. Even though this ship is pretty darn cool. Um, and I can just like slap a high energy focus and do some more damage. You may say, like, oh, well, that's not too bad. This is considered a large energy weapon mount on a frigate. On a frigate. That's insane. And also, I just love the weapon animation. How it's just going to douche. It's really cool, but that's not the main thing I wanted to show you. So, um, the first ship I bought, I saved money for, is this cruiser right here. And it comes stocked with, uh, like a lot of the Nomads ships come stocked with their own weaponry that you can't, you know, take off. And it's also really cool because, as, as I'll show you in this um, fight coming up, all these guns actually move when they fire. It's, it's, it's really cool. Really cool how they did that. Plus, I love the look of the ship. So yeah, this is a cruiser, okay? I have loaded it with um, two advanced photon torpedoes. Those I did add to it. I have not added anything in the medium universal turret slots yet. Other than that, every single other slot is taken in by its own weapons that come pre-built. Then it also comes with the dedicated... Or actually, I slapped on the, the targeting core and also the Neron Flux shunts because that's needed. So, let's run a simulation, Okay. And I'm going to run a simulation against some of the more powerful cruisers that I've come across, which is going to be, like, let's say the Hagarins have really powerful ships, right? Which one do I want to go against? The standard or this one? I don't think it really matters. So we'll deploy that. All right, so you notice this ship also comes with a higher energy focus. And the weapons that I am um, in control of right now, everything else is on auto fire, uh, are these fusion... TRP batteries, which are I guess energy damage photon torpedoes. All right, so let's let's let me show you how this ship does in combat. I'm gonna slap the high energy focus when we get in range. I will raise our shields, which is an omni shield. All right, so again, descendants, pretty powerful, right? Pretty powerful. Well, what was that? They were pretty powerful. Huh? Doesn't seem that. Interesting. So, these are basically even classed when it comes to deployment points and also size because they are both cruisers. 
How effing crazy is that? I don't even have this thing fully decked out. There are two medium weapon slots that I'm not even using right now. So, hey, you may be thinking like, well, the Hagarans aren't that strong. Let's try it against a Bushi. Well, all right, fine. Let's try this thing against a Bushi cruiser. They're a pretty strong faction too, right? Yeah, let's, let's see how they fare against this Nomad cruiser here. There go my photon torpedoes. This thing foolishly comes up to me. Launch the missiles. Huh. Wow. Huh, the Bushi can't even seem to handle this thing. I didn't even have to vent. Now I'll vent, why not? So, this thing, I think, outclasses every single... Oh, you know what I have not tested it against is a Zorg vessel. Actually, one of the new Zorg vessels, the Zorg um, got a massive upgrade. Or I, I shouldn't say upgrade, but they've been changed around a lot. So let's actually run a simulation against them, because these are energy weapons, so maybe they'll have a tough time against a Zorg ship. I've never actually fought them, fought against them yet. So here... No, that's not them. Here's some of the Zorg vessels. Um, let's load it up against a configurated surveyor. I'm... I'm basing this on the deployment points because the one the ship that I'm piloting is a 16 deployment point so that's 15 so I'd imagine they're about the same class so I don't know how this one's gonna go I didn't know how the Hagaran descendant and the Bushi was gonna go because I did test against them before the video recording and I was like what what I don't know how this is gonna go Oh yeah, but look at the when the weapons fire, they actually do fire. That's really cool. Slap on the high energy focus. Wow. Not even a Zorg vessel is a match for this thing. I so this may be a problem. I mean, it's a problem to me because this may make this Let's Play very easy. I'll run up against a... Oh, I don't know. I, I think the Neutrinos are pretty powerful too, right? So let's see how we fare against one of their cruisers. Which one would I want to fight against? I think that one has the broadside weapon, so that may not be a great... What does this thing come with? Autopulse laser, anti-proton laser. E yeah, let's try against this one. See how we fare up against the Neutrino's um, shields, which are considered to be insane, especially in a 1v1 situation. So let's see how we do against them. I've not tested this matchup out uh, either, so I don't know how this will go. But what is pretty crazy is that, look at those torpedoes! Look at them! They are actually going into the backside of the ship to try and bypass its shields. Like, what? What? I want you to know that I did not even use the high energy focus ability of this ship. Wow. Okay. Okay. One more test. One more test. I want to see how this thing can do against a ship larger than it. So let's go with a um, a standard battle cruiser for the Garen Descendants. I imagine this will not be as easily won um, since we're fighting a battle cruiser. And if it is, then my God, this faction I will just say right now is overpowered. <laughs> I, I'd imagine we don't do as good, though. Slap on high energy focus. Well, we are... Wow. No way. It's gonna have to drop its shields. Yeah, we're chewing through its armor. You can see in the um, picture there. We outrange this thing. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, one more. I need to test this thing against the the um uh this dreadnought. This is a cruiser, people. This is not even their battleships. Holy shit. I don't think I've ever actually seen this faction before. 
So I had no idea they were this powerful. Oh shit. I forgot this dreadnought had that insane large gun. I actually have to approach this thing with my shields up. But the thing is, like, the mod gives it such a huge um, flux capacity just off the bat, only for like 20 points. Which I think is really why it's so powerful. Let me lower my shields here. We are actually destroying a Dreadnought from the Higaran Descendants with a Cruiser-class ship. I cannot believe this. I, um, holy shit. This ship was only like 40,000 credits, by the way. I, um, I, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put the stamp of this is OP on this ship. Oh my god. I haven't even tested out any of the other vessels besides these two. Like, this one seems okay. It has the one main gun. It seems okay. It's a sniper. It's fine. This thing, though, holy shit. <laughs> This thing is not. It took out a Hagaran Descendant Dreadnought, people! That thing is insane! Alright, um, I just bought this ship too. This is a uh, carrier, I believe. This is what I said, right? Yeah, Ultralight Carrier, so it does have a flight deck. It also comes with uh, standard weapons that. Uh, so it has no mounts, so that's pretty. It seems pretty normal for the, the Nomads to have no mounts at all. Also comes with fast missile racks. And because I bought a carrier, I'm also going to try out some of these fighters, which I've never seen in action, so I don't know how crazy these guys can be either. Oh my god. Anyway, let's go to the refit screen. Weapon groups. Looks like I'm in I would be in charge of the fusion torpedoes. Which are nuts, man. Where are they? Yeah, fusion torpedo battery. The fact that they just seek around to the back of the ship to get around its shield is like. What? Is what? I've never s I don't think I've ever seen a missile do that before in this game. That's insane. Okay. What hall mods would we want on this thing? Well, we need the flux. So there we go. We have a ton of flux capacity now. We have some more points to play with. Um. Uh, I mean, it's still early in the game, so I don't have much. You know what, though? I, I do have level ups to spend. That is right. All right, let's um. Hold on. I'm gonna invest these three into level five. I, I feel five is an excellent place to stop at a technology tree before going on to another one. So after this, I'll invest in combat to at least level five. So I want to get our speed up to five. Get this up, which increases our range even further. Which is gonna anyway. That's gonna be nuts. And then we'll get this up to 5 to increase our hull integrity. Plus we also got um, some shield mods, auxiliary thrusters, which is a pretty good mod. Okay. So let's go back to the refit screen. I think I'll actually load this up with the auxiliary thrusters. I like maneuverability. Blast doors I'm always a fan of. And uh, you know what, why not? Let's give it some more vents and capacitors. So what are the- I've never actually looked at these weapons though, let's see what these are. Alright, Firecracker Burster. A point defense, flux per second 46, it's perfect accuracy, very fast turn rate, 50 DPS, that seems like a very basic point defense weapon. Um, her primary role harassment? Is that- what? Have I seen an harassment before? Huh, 209 flux per second, excellent turn rate, perfect accuracy, 
184 DPS, 295 range. Another firecracker. So they have... Oh, and then this. Oh, another harassment. Okay. So they have two of these harassment ones. They have the mini fusion torpedo. They have two of those. And then these two firecrackers. And then it's also a carrier. Okay. So. So. We are currently at war with the um, Syndicate ASP. And they are invading our sector. Which, when I started the game, I started alone. So it has allowed my faction to rapidly expand and claim most of the planets in the x sector. And only recently has the Shadow... Or, I'm sorry, Syndicate. I was going to say sh Shadow Yards. Uh, the Syndicate shown up and uh, come to fight us. So, we're going to have to fight them back. They are the purple, or light purple. We are the yellow-ish um, color. So I wanted to take this fleet and try to fight off these guys. Uh, I do want to increase our combat readiness though before we do. Let me come back here. Do I need to like a repair? There we go. There we go. Alright. Let's go up against this syndicate fleet. I've never fought against the syndicate so I'm not exactly sure how this is going to go. But they have a ton of fighters. These Venom Interceptor Wings. Then they have two Destroyers and two Cruisers. But I feel pretty confident. Let's move into a gauge. Maybe I'm going to be slapped down. Like I said, I don't know how strong these guys are. Let's continue. Deploy everything. Deploy. Uh, we don't even have any capture points in this in this fight. It must be too small. I will have our... I'll have everybody just escort me in. The sniper should still be in range. Oh, look at these fighters. Oh, and, and these are actually Corvettes, I believe. Oh, here they come. These, here come the fighters. All right, let's go after this destroyer. Yep. Yep. Let's um, back up the fleet here a bit. Because I do want to vent before we go up against the cruisers. I love that sniper weapon though, that's really cool. Alright, let's go in. Man, this thing has no chance. I think if I had multiple of these. There's one sitting in this in my uh, star base that I'm, you know, uh, close by. Like I can pick another one up instantly and with a, a dedicated targeting core to increase my ballistic range or my energy and ballistic range like I can just stay out of their weapons range I don't even need to raise up my shields Wow but I must say I, I, I do love the weapons not because they're so damn powerful, but I love the that they move back and that they're so fast firing and they just look cool. Alright, let's do search and destroy. Why not? I'll vent. See what our fighters can do. I wasn't really paying attention to them. Okay. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Seems to do pretty well. Huh. Alright, so that's two standard cruisers, two destroyers, and a lot of fighters out of the way. Uh, what made it away? A standard frigate? E sure. I'll pursue them just so I can see my fighters in action there. I'll just deploy these three. Oh, I forgot to deploy left and right. Ah, shit. Whoops. Oh, well. Hopefully they are fast enough. That carrier is so small, man. Let's 
Let's get a close up on these guys. So that must be their main gun right there. Yep. Oh man, it all turns. That's kind of cool. I never really zoom up on these things. That must be the little, the cockpit right there. I'll try to get a view on these guys. Yeah, I do like the ship designs. I mean, I, I, I obviously that cruiser is insanely powerful. Like, I, I, <laughs> I don't even know if I should use it because I can I lose? Like, if I just had a fleet of like three of those, like, wouldn't I just steamroll through every single thing in this game? I just can't believe the faction creator made it that damn strong. It's just obviously so overpowered. If you can take out a Nagaran Dreadnought, which is one of the, like, before this finding out about the Nomads, I considered one of the strongest, uh, you know, ships in this entire game. I, if you can take that thing out as a cruiser. Like, I just want to see what their battleships are like, you know? Wow, that, that didn't have much hull to begin with, but still, that was pretty quick. Um... So yeah, I, I, I just want to see what other ships are available with this faction. Pick through the salvage, I'll take, I'll take it all. Continue. Got another level up. Let's... Um, turn these weapons in. I'm probably not going to use them. A Mjolnir Cannon. Ooh. So it's a ballistic that does energy damage? Huh. So I guess that means that would take advantage of the high energy focus, right? Since it does energy damage type. Wow. Also comes with EMP damage. Gauss cannons, grape cannons. For whatever reason, I have an Agaran Descendant uh, dual chain gun. Photon cannon. Ah, okay. So here we go. Remember... Well, that's not the same, though. So in my last playthrough, I had those photon cannons on all my ships with the junk pirates, and they were dealing zero, or they had zero flux per second, but I believe those were called Photon Cannon F. But the thing is, like, I re-downloaded every single faction before I started playing this game, uh, before I started doing this Let's Play, so maybe these photon cannons are corrected, and they actually deal flux per second, which I think they should, because otherwise they were extremely powerful. Anyway, um... Pulsed beam cannon. Let's confirm. We are still over on supplies. Let's drop those supplies down. Uh, I don't think we need any fuel actually for a while. So I'm trying to go with elite and veteran crew as much as possible to keep my combat readiness as high as possible. And I still have seven points left in my logistics. Oh my gosh. Let's go to refit. What kind of weapons could I put on these mediums? We could do some photon cannons, sequence pulsars. Can it, no, I want to keep it energy based. Pulsed beam cannons. Um, can't turn. Hmm, that's okay. This is basically a forward facing ship anyway. Eight hundred seventy five range. What's the range on these things? Eight hundred. Um. Maybe. I can just slap these guys on there. My other thing I could do is the sequence pulsar and then the photon cannons. Well, I don't think I've seen this weapon in action, so let's actually slap that on there. I will lower the vents down a bit so that we can get another one. I guess I did a little too much. Alright, let me put these in the weapon group. I want to see these things in action. So I'm going to run just a quick simulation. Let's get something we haven't seen yet. Let's go up against a bigger Zorg vessel. Let's go up against our co configurated alcove, a 35 point Zorg, or Zorg vessel. This thing is probably going to be nuts. I just want to see these weapons fire. I imagine the Zork has a very long range weapon. Holy shit! Look at that thing! That is huge! I'm just looking at the weapons firing here. Okay, cool. Oh 
Alright, so I think we may have met our match here. It only took a humongous Zorg vessel. Look at this thing! Oh, I am totally disabled. Well, I guess that gun's still fire. But my engines are definitely disabled too. Oh. I'm actually going to try to fight this one out. Has this cruiser met its match? <laughs> no, if, if this thing destroyed this Zorg vessel, I'd be upset. I'm like, no way. No flipping way. I think we've gone through a little bit of this vessel's armor. You know what? I think we could take it. I think we can. Uh-oh. 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 Get on the armor. Oh, God. I really think we could, though. If I didn't vent, I was just impatient. I think we can take that. Oh my god. This ship is... Wow. Do I have anything else I can buy here? Is there anything bigger than this? No. Um, I think I do want to grab this thing though. This thing just looks crazy. Look at this. Look at that. Like, what? What is this? Um, but it comes with fast missile racks. Let's see. It has no mounts of its, uh, of its own. It has one of the fusion torpedo batteries, which my big ship has. Four fusion torpedo pods, which I think the carrier has. Uh, ultralight Electron Maser, which is what the Sniping Frigate has, I think. Though I don't actually see that weapon mount on here. Um, Firecracker Burster, I think that's the point defense. And then also two- wow, that's- that is a cool missile boat. How many supplies today was that? Or, um, yeah, five? I could buy that. Yeah, let's buy that. Although I do also want to buy this. I, I remember looking at this, okay. A purpose-built strike frigate that uses its unique solar-powered beam weapon to slice through vulnerable armor. So it also comes with high energy focus. It is um, 2.75 supplies per day. That's pretty cheap. It does have a small energy mount, but then its only weapon is the solar crucible. I want to see this in action. Uh, but you know what? I'll save that for the next episode. <laughs> I, I feel we've seen enough in this opening episode. This ship... Man, this ship. I can't wait to see the other big vessels that the, nomad, the nomads have um, in their faction. Because, man, this thing is beyond ridiculous. This thing is overpowered beyond anything i ever known. Um, also, I would like to try out these Fang Bombers. Those are huge, flipping fighters. And they come with something called the Retribution Launch System. So you know that's going to be flipping cool. <sighs> this faction. It's going to be fun. It's probably going to be overpowered, but it's going to be fun. So thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you next time. Take care.